This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Our website is ccc.qbook.tv, where you can find other audio and video episodes with photos, links, and information related to today's conversation. Subscribe to leave comments and access research episodes with applied topics and research reports. Clients, and so, welcome back to talk of Asian marketing. And we're going to be in Singapore again today. Well, that's going to be good, and uh, we've got a kind of topic that'll make your mouth water. Yeah, we're going to make your mouth water. That's a good one. In fact, I had some students come by my office one day, yeah. and they had just finished reading a chapter in a, in a consumer behavior book. Yeah. And they said, "What is this classical conditioning? You know, I, I never seen this work before." And I said, "Have you never seen a McDonald's French fry?" 50 feet tall uh, on the billboard, uh, right? What do you think that is? Or the smell that comes blocks away, right? Uh, I think today's show picks up on that very well. Yeah, I, the thing that we see in this show that's uh, kind of nice is the ice cream van. And how does this guy call? He's got a bell. Got a bell. Rings and bell. Uh, I, I think you were saying that uh, when you were talking to some people who live in Singapore, this bell sort of evokes yeah, some 40, memories. Yeah, 40 somethings, and they would say, whoa, when they hear that bell, they just have an urge to go out and get the ice cream. So in the film, we see it happening, but it's hard to convey in the film. It really does yes. draw people out. And I mean, I'm trying to think here as well, but I mean, there's the example of the trash cart, which is mm -hmm. kind of an opposite sense, because obviously, you know, that's not consumable in any way, but it people hear that there's an instinct to do something and I think right. it's the same kind of idea of conditioning right. we see that with the ice cream uh, vendor here and they've got the little cart that they move round to yeah. real clever point of sale that's another thing that I think is interesting in this video that the point of sale has moved out of the store right down to somewhere that's local and that magic word convenient of convenient. course it's really convenient it's where people are where shoppers are where people will hear the bell and instinctively move over to we often see that in Taiwan buy. I think where you'll have a, something a news event happens yeah. somebody committed suicide yeah. somebody yeah. was murdered it won't be very long before vendors have set out outside because the newsstands are there people are coming to gawk and they're doing a good business they're right in there and in fact in the UK, we see more and more of these sort of point of sale outlets get a little bit more flexible like this, where it's right down to the point of convenience where people can get to where where the activity is. Yeah, that's the thing. It can move to where the people. Are. I think in our video, usually, usually the examples here, they're going around apartment blocks, flats, yeah. and so they're just going through, ringing the bell, and people hear it and come down, come right down. Yes, I mean where we live, and probably you have it as well, Clyde. You hear the um, vans coming around. Often they have a music. Or they have some ladies singing a song, and again, it invokes that kind of response to right. go out and right. uh, right. look Yeah, for I mean, product. there's not much difference between this and, say, in the U.S., they have ice cream trucks. Yeah, that they play must music. have a, play, play that sort they of jingle. They play some kind of jingle, and everybody knows it, and the kids all run out and get their money ready. So it's not very different, but uh, I think what's interesting here is that it's the individual running his own stand, and it's very um, common. Yeah, yeah. I think he would own his own stand. He'd be his own vendor. He wouldn't be working for. Although they do work for the ice cream company indirectly because of the channel. Yes, but I, again, I think that's another very prototypical thing that right. we see here. Who wants to be the boss? Everyone right. wants to Everybody be the boss. Everybody wants to be the boss. That's a good point. And so, right down to even a small stand, I'm the boss, and that that sort of sense of being uh, your own person, making your own money, running your own business, even if it's comparatively small. Right. Yeah, and if, I think what I really like about it, James, is if you get enough of these different small businesses like this, mm -hmm. each one is making a decision on the fly, where to go, what to sell, how to talk to the consumers. Mm -hmm. And to me, that contrasts so sharply with a developer who's made a mall and has determined that the image in this whole building will be ABC and you all must con conform to my view of things. Exactly. I love the, the kind of organic nature when, of these street vendors, how they get together. I, uh, and it's so responsive to the totally market situation right. and right. flexible, adaptable, I say. Another really nice video that we see here yep. of this uh, of this real live situation happening of flexible, proactive uh, salesmanship. Yeah, I have to say, though, this is the video I get most hungry because that ice cream is pretty good. So their ice cream sandwiches, 
their ice cream with uh, crackers on the top ah, and the yes. bottom. Ah, those are great, yeah. yeah. Really suited as well, of course, for the tropical climate. Yeah, it's perfect in Singapore. But, uh, all so all days of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christmas is a great snack. I, I'm right. really drooling here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's watch the video, let's come back and we'll talk okay. a little bit more about it. Consumer will relate the ring of the bell to the ice cream man. Thus may lead to a craving for ice cream and the purchase of the ice cream will satisfy their need. The ring of the bell will get the attention of consumers who are unaware that there is an ice cream vendor nearby and this awareness may stimulate their need for ice cream. Weather will affect consumer behavior by creating a want for ice cream, thus purchasing it to satisfy one's want. Peer pressure can play a part in a consumer buying decision, as an individual will have the tendency to accept his friend's offer or follow his buying behavior.
Cristiane, que eu sei. Now, Mr. Tan has been selling ice cream at this area for over 30 years. Regular customers form the bulk of the sales of his ice cream. They have fostered a relationship with Mr. Tan and are used to buying from him.
มัวหลังเสียงเสียงสีตัวเลน้องเนี่ยนะจ๊ะโอเคเราจะมาเล่าเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเรื่องเ